Ooh. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds, the Bermadeath modding let's play with mods. I've downloaded a bunch of new reshaped mods that are gonna test sooner or later. But first we're gonna continue with the main story. We got Pravati, we got the Wicker Witch, we need to get into armor ASAP. And we got Ada, and we're gonna talk to Ada now. What can Yo. I do for you, Captain? Get me out of here. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Yeah, no thing or two. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh. Okay. I'll do play this game again. God, I'll play it. Black Light. Black Light. Black Tail that much. But I don't even know how to run and stuff. I'm over in combat, ain't I? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know why. Ah, oh, security armor that I have for the Vicar. The Vicar Max. God, I need to get rid of stuff. Let's see if I can repair stuff. Ah, oh, Porter Pistol. That thing. Mama. No. Ah, oh, modify. I probably have a bunch of mods that I can throw into stuff. Like there. Ah, oh, nice reduction, phantom spirit, critical damage, that's good. Mag to sap, shock, plasma, no thanks. Extend sight on that gun, definitely not. A sword rifle, what do I have on here? A barrel, barrel. Okay. That's good now. What's the third mod? There's no third mod. That thing, I can give that to someone. First of all, oh, that's a special armor. That's it. With the special armor, 14, 17. Okay, let's see if I have mods for you. Yep. That's gonna be for the Vicar. And that's something I'm probably gonna break down. Because I need the inventory space. That's also something I can break down. I can't break it down. Our nation suit, very poor Tante. I need that. That, that has a lot of weight. Damn. Yeah. Am I still? Mm. <laughs> Fuck. Oh god, I need to put points into better inventory spaces. Okay, let's cheese it. Nope. Not high enough. I probably just need sleep and then everything is good. Still not. You know what I'm going for, right? Still not. I'm gonna get myself a fear of heights because I fall too often. And then that perk. I should just get rid of the power regulator in the meantime. God, this is a slow start. Maybe that lightens the load. No. No, I can drink. That makes sense. Mm. Yeah, my apple juice. Favorite apple juice. I need more apple juice. Okay. Okay, that, yep, that worked this time. But just for a short time, what's that? Appearance. 
Still not. Still not. What can uh, I do for you, Captain? Bring me to my bed. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Let's go out of here. And we're out of here. There is going to be a lot of talking in this episode. It's probably going to be one hour talking episode of the Grand Breaker stuff. We have a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Oh. Based on my initial calculations of Dr. Wells's personality, that seems highly unlikely. It won't be quick. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. I have seen everything 3D and then um, the world in different colors. Get to the point, Phineas. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the ground breaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Oh, fine. I don't want to talk to him. He talks too much. Fine, I'll go have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Yes, I um, need to go to sleep anyways. You want me to wear a cape? Wrong matter of shroud, my slow-witted accomplice. This <laughs> is, uh, how to put it simply... Uh, a device that makes you look different, sound different, briefly. The device has its limits, but it will allow you to blend in perfectly and probably won't jeopardize your ability to have children. Will it? No, definitely not. Probably, yes. Don't need Very those. simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. What? Ah, uh, people will actually fall for this. Seems far fetched, man. Ha 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 ha! The beauty is, they don't expect it. The shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate hmm. the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd, they won't focus on you. I'll put it to good use, thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. The port, the port, the board may not give me power and wealth, but so much goddamn good experience. Like, seriously, you get double the experience for siding with the board. Avati, you good girl, that's your bed, I'm gonna sleep in it. 
Yeah. Well rested, after all. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? Yeah, I already slept in your bed. We cuddle up from now on. Oh, uh, what do you think of the ship? That's in pretty good shape considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA-120, A2 model, I'm pretty sure. The Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's board-certified mechanic. Oh yeah, that's the ship's computer voicey thing. Oh, neat! I've never seen a talkie system before. I read about them, though, in a trade magazine. Hello, I am not a board-certified mechanic, but my dad was. He taught me all he knew. Do you understand? <laughs> Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. You're not simulating it, you're doing it! I asked a question and you answered it. I am gratified you consider this facsimile convincing. What do you think, Povadi? Is it safe to fly now that we got the regulator? I don't see any holes in the hull. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip-top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma torch. Sounds delicious. Oh. Oh. Another time, another time. There's so much talking going on in this episode anyway, so... We can't overdo it. And... Solid graphic shroud. here nothing in there so I put something in there I got stuff I want to put in there like my armor pieces um that's the suit and that's the suit and I'll keep that for Felix he deserves it after all Okay, not though talking to the vicar. Not yet. Does he need something on the ground breaker? Skills. Oh yeah. Mm. Just in case I don't need it right now. Perks I need probably weight lift. Better weight thing. Oh, walk speed, sprint speed, companion, science, damage per flow, that's good actually, carrying capacity, mm. yeah, I'm gonna need it, it's just, I'm gonna need it, I'm gonna try one more time to get myself the floor, Roop. nope, we got 150, that's good, okay, Let's go to Phineas lab first. There's so much talking going on then. I got myself... Where's the day you see? That's the moon, right? Skill as the moon. What skill of the day you see? Monarch. Can I actually go to Monarch already? Oh, Jesus, effing Christ. There are two, this is where it just was. Phineas Lab, Typhoon, Asbestos, Tartarus, Skull is the Moon, which is gonna be the thing after Grunt Breaker. Waking no, good. Thing at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. <laughs> That's not the top secret, man. Okay, now I can put. Some arm on the vicar. Yes, perfect. Oh god, there are gonna be two hours of docking probably. Realistically, the ground breaker is just never ending <coughs> talking. We come max, there we go. This stuff is gonna get sold. 170, 31, 30, 19, that's good, that's good. 
Yeah, no, he got his hair cut. God, I hate the Dharma that he's wearing. There. Yeah. Perfect. That's just too perfect for him. <laughs> oh, it looks like a whole new person. Oh, can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it. Blast, that's loud. Okay. Let's loot him up. I don't need to show my reshades here. I feel like it's not that cool looking anyways. It's part of the game. Ah, yes, I knew it. God damn it. Oh. I just invested in hack points. Shouldn't jump off though. Maybe I'll I'm find just it. I'm securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. What are you blabbering? I haven't had a visitor since. Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Hmm. Science weapon. Where is it? Doesn't talk to me. We got some random loot. Like a poster. I don't know what to do with those. I'm pretty sure I can kill that thing. Give him a reason to be paranoid. Tech skills. Hmm. Sneak. Same. <laughs> oh, yes. Very sexy. Oh. Oh. That's jiggly. Nine. Nice. That had to happen. make excellent test subjects. Also surprisingly nutritious. And I killed them all. All well. Mr. Pig, return. Heck. No, I actually got that. There it is. Shrink ray. Uh, I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Find the target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. Okay, now I'm probably gonna sell it. I never liked the special weapons that much. I don't read anything anyways, dude. I'm just hacking. Yeah. Oh, that was weird. Oh, did I? Yes, I did loot that. Okay. Let's talk to me. Talk to me, baby. Ah, oh, a lot of talking. Oh, thank the law. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. Potential side effect of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, caffeinoids, cysty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. Whoa. Oh, oh you could have asked me before shoving me into an escape pod. Oh, balderdash. You hadn't yet recovered your faculties of speech. What was I to do? Dear so-and-so, would you like to be shoved into an escape pod? Blink twice for yes? Still, I admit I may have been a touch hasty, even thoughtless. I do apologize if I rushed you. 
Zöp, 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 zöp. You shot me to space, you lunatic. I'm lucky to survive the door. Nonsense. There's no such thing as luck. Only well-calculated margins of error. You survived that fall in 85 out of 100 simulations. Oh, boy. Um, oh, that's also a little bit trippy. Ah, oh, Harkion is a cesspit. I'm starting to regret ever coming here. now and we're all circling the drain together we can wallow in our collective misery or we can try to make halcyon a better place i don't know about you but i'd like to live in a colony that isn't marching toward oblivion ah oh, never mind let's change the topic of course what's on your mind hmm Some things i can't talk about there's some reason you're hiding behind bulletproof glass, man. Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Where the hell am I? There. Okay, I feel like it's all Absolutely. just Let's talk. weird. Uh, have you met my crew yet? No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. Nice to meet you, Dr. Wells. I'm Parvati Holcomb. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. Um, sh relax with me. Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew such as they are. You may be extraordinarily dim-witted, but you've got heart. <laughs> I'm sure oh. your crew sees that as well as I do. Oh. You asshole. Oh, where's Auto Realms? Damn, I've just pressed through too many reshades. Oh, that's also new. That's pretty much like the decay one. Ah, oh. Spare me the flattery, Phineas. That's certain my tone was sufficiently sincere uh, perhaps the glass is distorting my voice must look into that okay of course I'll be here as usual I've messed with too much oops reshadery way too much so like Reshades that aren't created for the game I'm playing are just weird looking. Also, 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 talking about mods and reshade, I've, saw, I've seen some more stray mods that look pretty cool. So I'm um, yeah, downloading stray again and making two parts of more, more stray stuff that made no sense grammatically wise. I'm modding stray some more. That makes sense. You have acquired poster. Can I hang it? Is it time for your regular daily period of unconsciousness? What? Who are you talking to? I need to drink water. God, I need to drink so much. There gotta be a tab somewhere where I can drink water out of. Oh, that's that. Yeah, that's filling up water. Okay, get me to the ground breaker. I'm not the gonna find anything here besides Felix. Besides Felix, whatever you need, go. Hey, Captain, I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer, a lady named June Lay Tennyson. Ah, oh, what about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. 
If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Oh. I thought you said you could keep this boat in good repair, Pavadi. I abso surely can. I'm a passing fair mechanic. Even Mr. Thompson would have said it's my only skill. But I'm used to working on cannery lines, AG loaders, and the like. There's tricks about ships I ain't learned yet. All I'm looking for is a few pointers. I bet a lady who runs a whole station has forgot more than I ever learned. Sure, we could head over to engineering now. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Yeah. Did you want to talk about something else? Yeah, I ignore Felix. Ignore Felix when we see him. Just ignore him. Didn't you? God, Felix. Sadly, there was no mod to replace Felix. Ah, uh, since I was modding anyways, and downloading reshit mods, I saw something pretty cool for, in my taste, in my opinion. And that's, uh... Horizon Zero Dawn mod for PC. Which lets you play as Neil as the main character of the game. Replaces Aloy with Neil. And when I play that game on PC, that's definitely the plan. Jane Olsen. Captain. Hey, Captain. Up in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. You deserve it, Commander Pravati. I ignore her. That's not the point. This halfway just knocked out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get cute with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the Groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. It's water, right? <laughs> They're so stealing. Those people are nameless people. You, nameless. Nameless, there's no one important here normally. I already stopped talking to a lot of people. Oh, what the hell? I don't remember that. Don't tell me there's nothing up here. Huh? I can sneak in? Really? Holy hell! How did I never see that before? Oh god, I just sneaked in. That's that is actually the first time I saw that. Hmm. Ooh. Just to learn something new every playthrough. Whoa. Oh god. Ooh. I hope nothing here kills me. I uh, had just somebody that here, plasma rifle. Is that a good one? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Uh, there's a dead person here. Full damage could kill me here. That's <laughs> something bad. Yeah, it's not up to my other guns. School wise. Okay. Okay. Well, we just sneaked into the crown breaker. <laughs> Whee! Hmm. 
That's stealing, yeah. Gotta make sure I'm not getting detected. There are enemies somewhere behind those doors. That's not stealing. Part, yep. And I shouldn't mess with the enemies on Groundbreaker yet. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. Anarchists live as one with the animals, lawless, savage, and unemployed. The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave the planet and threaten our hard-working citizens. This is Halcyon News, reminding you that there's no I in news, no we in Halcyon, and no Mercury in Saltuna. Yeah, that's the way. Let's see what's behind here. Oh no, better not. I'm not prepared for a fight in here. Those fights are quite deadly. Block. Hmm, block is worthless. Parvati, congratulations. No weaker. Parvati. Um. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You are hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that, Graham? Oh. Asshole. Can we talk? Okay. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Captain, if I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on the Groundbreaker, I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. <sighs> you know somebody who can read the book. I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Ah, oh, that sounds like a good lead, but how do we find him? That's a good question. Fortunately, we're in the perfect place to start. This is where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Ah, how will the crew from first help us with track down your school of friend? I'll comb the last six months of departure manifests to track the philosophist's off-world destination. Oh, sounds good. Let's go, man. Thank you, Captain. Okay. Good, I'm getting tired again. It's five in the no, four four thirty in the night. This is the third midnight session. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? You look similar, Thomas. Ah, oh, just getting my bearings. What do you do here? This is the security desk, sir. If you're here to report a crime, you'll want to talk to Commandant Sanita. I'm not authorized to take incident reports anymore. Oh, why? I'm not so good at filing. Mix up first name and surname one, two, seven times. Well, folks are liable to start taking your filing privileges away. Oh, oh poor you. Ah, oh, do you do, I don't know, tools or something? 
We can't just let anyone walk in here. I wouldn't be, uh, well, that's not, uh, we just don't. Maybe if you clear an open bounty and get in good with Commandant Sunita, or help Chief Tennyson fix this heat, that might warrant a thank you tour or something. I got it. Bribe. Oh, no, I don't have that money. Ah, uh, chance to change your mind. Well, let me think about it for a minute. Hmm. No? You don't sound awfully sure of that. We got a lot of rules to follow. Hard to remember them all sometimes. Ah. Uh, I would really like to get back there. Yeah, I'm getting that, but this area's off limits. I told you. Maybe. All right. Ah, bet you got seized contraband from all of the sifts and locked up there. Sure, and stuff from outside the system too, off the uh, interstellar freighters. That's why we also have so many armed Mardets on duty here. What if some of the contrabands? Ma is ma one would it, uh, what if some of the contrabands ma is mine and I'm here to claim it, Captain? That'd be awful weird. On account of you should be locked up back here too, then. Okay. All right. A lot of freighters come through the station. Must keep you busy. Less than there used to be. Fewer freighters passing through these days. I spend some shifts just listening to the wireless. Well, and why aren't as many freighters coming through that I can't read already? Search me. I mean, don't search me, because that's my job. <laughs> Get it? Oh. Uh, I reckon you'd have to ask the folks in Byzantium. Okay. You. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time, nor loitering. Oh, what bounties do you have? Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed. Just 26 hours old. The posting, that is. Not the criminal. <sighs> Allegations include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, Failure to pay docking fees, resisting arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. Ah, oh. oh, assaulting two officers. Kicked one right in the kneecap while he poked the other in the eyes. <laughs> McRed's oh. lucky we're too backlogged right now to hunt him down ourselves. But if our resources clear up and we catch him before some contractor does... I fully plan to lock him in ISO with them two officers he wounded. Thinking he won't like that one bit. Oh. And lead somewhere I might find Reed. Ah, influence first. Swerving in the air was more like it. Then he crashed hard into the dock and tumbled out of his ship and fled on foot. Spilled Rizzo's Violet Spectrum vodka all over Officer Hartley. An affront of its own, considering none of us are approved for anything higher than Green Spectrum. Where do I find him? Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. I'll take the posting. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head, or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. He's actually quite difficult to fight, so I'm not going to do that right now. So what's it like working security detail on a space station? Do I look like your gossipy best friend? While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? So... <laughs> Uh, so the laid over drinks? Don't make me laugh on duty. Sets a bad example for the rookies. Hey, that's a yes. Oh, I'm good looking after. Hey, dude, I just skipped the line. Identification, please. Oh, he doesn't care. 
You're guarding the door, so I will call you guard. You're welcome. That's only about the third or fourth dumbest line I've heard all day. <laughs> I give it a six out of ten. Thanks. Thanks. Seems a little high. That was barely a three, in my humble opinion. Hey, that's better than half. Could be worse. Could be better, too. So, identification. Oh, it's the other one. Ah. Oh. My name is Gupu. It's my first time here. Give me a tour, please. You've got a ship, but you've never visited Groundbreaker. <laughs> you must have just dusted off from one of those dirt side outposts. Sure did. And now we're in space. Well, welcome to Groundbreaker. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Oh, this dialogue triggers anyways. Doesn't matter what you click. Ah, oh, how do we get this resolved? I want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Oh, uh, Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Oh God, beautiful blue eyes, by the way. This has to be a mistake, right? Not gonna lie. You're in a pickle. But uh, Udom's an uh, interesting guy. Might be y'all could come to accords if you play your cards right. Huh. Records show this ain't the first time your ship's been impounded. Seems to get cleared up pretty quick. You might not be in this pickle for long. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Oh, sure. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, mm, can I find a job around here? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Oh, I'm looking for something a little bit more local. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. What? How about something long term? If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Full-time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited, or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. What? <laughs> uh, that's not what the saying is intended to mean. Um, that's all. all. I know my way around here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Be seeing you. Be seeing you too. Too much talking. Damn. I already feel like this is one hour long. And I'm not even halfway through Groundbreaker. Whoa, whoa. Ah, I'm not. Whoa. Okay, now I'm not. This is it. Gonna... Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew cha I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. Nope, not yet, man. Not yet. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. We're gonna be distracted. Very much so. Oh, damn. That already looks a little bit better, I would say. I'm pretty sure that's an Arise and Zero Dawn reshade. Hmm, I can take a screenshot. Yeah. Screenshot. 
Ooh, yep, Horizon Zero Dawn. That space is gonna look cursed. Yep, that space is gonna look cursed. Uh, vibrance. Oh, that's overkill too. Simply beauty is for outer realms. I don't like that here. The V Storm Horizon one looks the best so far. Huh. The Cheddar Fallen Order also looks pretty good. That's pretty much a Cheddar Fallen Order space station. That looks similar design wise, I would say. Outer Realm, we had that. Ha, huh, that looks also pretty cool. Burn, burn. Builder. What else? What else? What else? Stalker Misery doesn't fit into the game. Nope. Decay is pretty similar. That's also a followed one. Huh. That actually looks cool here. Okay, let's try one more. 3D one. Actually, oof. Okay, that's way too much overkill. One more then. One more. God damn it, can I? That one is hard to find. There are multiple one. Cool ones here. What the hell's going on? We were in a holding pattern for two hours just to get in. Comms had to go on break. Chief didn't have enough hands to coordinate docking. Something about the radiators being busted. I don't know. Not my problem, right? Very much over the top. Rest and go. Can we rent an upstairs room? We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following... And somebody killed the spreads for me. That's toilet food. That's probably healthy. So hell. And just good and fair to use. I'm not gonna go at myself into fights yet. Ah. Oh. Gladys. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store bought. Well, would have buy that? Let me Want see. Want a charming copper kettle off that girl? <laughs> There's something special. She, she has that. For example. Huh, I'm actually not missing that much here. Ballad, Mardet, Data Bird. Mm. Mining a Chief Catrick. I feel like I need both of those things. So, let's sell stuff. So I can afford something here. That just gave me a lot of money. Ah, get rid of that stuff. Ah, that's not that cool. Intimidate. Not in this playthrough. Okay. That's actually good looking. We sneak. Get rid of that. I need to get rid of a lot of stuff here. Okay. That. Damn. 660 damage. That's for some quest. And that also. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, 215. Six. <laughs> Yeah, that's a difference. Okay, I'm gonna switch in between then. Okay, tell me. Gracious, 
I was just sitting down for tea. Mm-hmm. Goodness sent me, said you could sell me a uh, cake. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Ah, oh, tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little more of flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms. Ah, uh, no qualms. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Ah. Uh, oh no, a ghost message. Aren't you precious? <laughs> no. The young man on the video was flesh and blood, all right. Could be it was automated. Mr. Thompson used to automate the intercom in Edgewater to say all sorts of things. A bit saved is worth two in the bush, was his favorite. Never did figure out what he meant. Edna didn't seem to think so, and I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but she knows her comms. So, like as not, someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. Oh. Sounds like an opportunity, all right. I appreciate a man who knows one when he hears it. If oh you boy. should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Ah, oh, my services don't come cheap. Neither do mine, dearie. Old Gladys knows the value of good work. You'll be compensated accordingly, I can promise you that. Should you find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets, well... Then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookies. Ah. Oh, I'll stop by if I find anything. Law bless your atoms. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Oh, what other jobs do you know about? You might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. Yes. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Mm, bust. Any time, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Ugh. It's probably poisoned. God damn, there's so much to talk here. And so many side quests. Last time I played this game, I just, I just killed her. It wasn't easy. Pure brew, that's how I call. I need water. Water. Oh, does that fill me up? <laughs> sure. Biotics. I just, uh, just a seriously no way I can drink tap water here. Yep. Tap water, please. For the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend now? See here, I'm from the dangers of alien. What was I doing again? Talk to your local manager. Oh, I'm so military training your room. and lend your life to protecting our wonderful brands and products. Military service does not Look guarantee that water. employment rights, tax breaks, military discount, health benefits, military burial, participation medal, training, or weapon. This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All 
I'll make sure nobody comes in here of my team. <gasps> no, okay. Did you see that? Everybody turned up red. Can't risk it. Can't risk it. Hello, sir. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything. Um. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of drinks here. God, I just. If it wouldn't be permadeath, I would probably kill my way through here. But there are too many people here and I can't afford it. Still no full damage thing. I ha still haven't found something to drink. That sounds like water. No, no water. Searchy brew, Bosco sauce. They are water. Hey! <laughs> there it is. Uh, except, yes, I want that. Hmm, movement, TD, science, movement, bonus, extra headshot, weak shot. Hmm, then the boy, quite weapon damage. Dollar, carrying, consume, health, restore, to kill. There were two good things here, quite weapon damage. Huh. That's not cool. And this one. Okay, Moonhead next episode. Bartender. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lei gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. Is it alcohol? It's always alcohol. Nothing you need and everything you want. That's a shitty slogan. Is there apple juice here? Like, uh, I don't know what the, no, that's water. Oh, I need it. Sadly. Do I have that? Nope. There's some little side quest back here. Hey, dude. The chef in here. More chefs. Shouldn't talk. steal anything here then. Die. that side quest or oh, that way to the side quest it's probably just this one this door in here probably just I can't get through two little hex girls well 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 and here we got a good shop Ah, here it is. Okay. So I was capable of taking the other things. Oh, I was wondering what. 
what they do with their waste. I guess they just chuck it down here. Where's it all go? That's one down. I don't even know if I should go down there. <laughs> Come on, team. ADXP, though. Hmm. Uh, how about I stay up top? You know, keep watch. He okay. looks pretty dead. Oh, she came down anyways. Frozen dinner? Why not? So, here's a way up. Here's a way down. It was that good gun. There we go. From what I remember, it kicks like all hell. Does kick like hell. Is there no flashlight. Hmm. All right, I'm going. No flashlight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the weapons room. Ladies and gentlemen, we already got enough armor to kill everything in the game. And a heavy machine gun. Pretty sure there's also a sniper here. God damn it. Understood. On my way. Coming with me now. God damn it. Uh, Heading back. Okay. No, 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 no. No, they're coming with me. Come on, team. Up here. And the episode is over. Facing here. And pull us. Nice hit! Nice one! God damn it, Vicar. First thing you do, man. Impact time, okay, can saw it. They failed miserably. Miserably. Take the weight. Insane that I haven't died yet. Oh yeah. That's the loot room I wasn't capable of getting in. Okay. That's the door. Okay. Um, okay, now we got food and everything. What's that? Tactic shotgun, I need a sniper. Ah, uh, not really. Not really. I got everything. Bolt a pistol 2.0, did I read that right? Water pistol. No? Wait. That's my upgrade one. No more. No more. God damn it. Not yet. 
Spiritual brew is gonna get sold. Yep, that's that door. Back upstairs. Oh. Got everything in here. It smells awful. And not all of it's mine. I'll die in here. Thank you, stranger. Sh ain't that a relief? Shit, indeed. You have no idea how good the air on Groundbreaker smells until you've been trapped in a tiny bathroom with an overflowing toilet. Thanks again, friend. Oh, how long we in there? Time stood still. I was aware of nothing but the smell. Ugh, could have been days. Ah, shit. That means I've been clocked out in days. Song is gonna have my ass for wage theft. Yeah, I did you a favor. What are you going to do for me? You're gonna shake me down after I was trapped in a shit-covered bathroom? Is that how it is? Yes. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, just make sure people know I helped you. I'm too bad at that. That all? Of course. Everyone on the ship's gonna hear about this. Hell, it's the only chance I've got to keep my job. Ah, oh, you're lucky. I've put no points into debitate. Lucky you. Okay, need to see what's out here. Death. That's what out. What's out here? Nope. I've messed too much with the high ground. Oh damn. That's exactly what I need. Mm, I can do it. Just in case. <laughs> Seriously, Dan. I don't want to fall off here. Oh, yeah, I can't go onto my ship. Oh. Okay. I can save at least. Last. Yo. We're done here. Thanks for watching. This part is over. It's a long one. And it's gonna need another hour of talking to get through the Grand Breaker episode.